Hello guys and welcome to today's video. My name is Matt and in today's video I will be showing you how to port forward uh, yeah, basically how to port forward for your PC, for your iPad, wherever. Really not sure why people would want to port forward anything about their PC uh, or of course a Mac or laptop or whatever but like port forwarding a, an iPad or a Windows phone is for the most part not really necessary but anyway let's jump right into it so first and foremost you'll have to have a static IP set up on your device and by the way this does not matter what device you are setting this up from because it can be set up from any device in your local area network so it can be using Wi-Fi or by cable or whatever but you have to have a static IP address set up on that spe specific device or computer that you want to have the ports open on so uh, I'll be opening ports on my computer here right in front of me and as you saw in the last video I did set up a static IP for this uh, computer uh, so if you haven't seen that video be sure to go ahead and check that out set that up before you come to this video pause this video come back when you're done and I'll just assume you're down now uh, so we'll get right into it so uh, first and foremost we'll do exactly as we did in uh, the static IP address video so we'll type CMD into the start menu here press uh, enter type in ipconfig dash no that no not dash space uh, forward slash all and uh, we'll resize this and as you see here uh, just as in the last video we will uh, be given our IPv4 address and our default gateway so that uh, are the two we would uh, like to write down or remember or whatever I'll remember mine uh, but the IPv4 address is the same as the one you set up last time because of course that was the whole point of the last video was to uh, so make a IP address that won't change so this one won't change and this is really really good because it's required for this video so you should remember this one and also uh, now you'll have to remember your default gateway for like uh, five seconds uh, so you can close it up if you ha remember all that and then you can go into your preferred web browser type in your local IP address into the search bar or the yeah the address bar and press OK uh, it will pop up a a, 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 a prompt here uh, telling you to log in and this does depend on routers uh, depending on what router you have the login credentials will be different uh, as long as you haven't changed them of course because some people do tend to change them I live like it there, there's no need for me to change mine but if you live like in a uh, high story building or something and where there's like multiple Wi-Fi close to each other then it's good it sh you should change your uh, login credentials since people could log into to your network and mess around with your settings and stuff otherwise but you'll mm, for the most part find the uh, login credentials underneath your router uh, on the back of your router the it will say the default uh, gateway as well as the admin uh, password and the admin username so yeah but mine is already filled in because i've logged in like several times so we'll just press login and uh, this will also depend on your router of course mine is tp link probably yours isn't so uh, it will look a bit different but the idea is the same you'll have to be looking for something called like forwarding or something you might find this under LAN or uh, local area network or something it really depends on your router if you are trouble having trouble finding it you just have to dig around and uh, look until you find something called like forwarding port triggering port forwarding virtual server something like that and once you've found it you're uh, yeah you found it basically so mine is just for uh, mine is forwarding and then the uh, other headline here underneath is virtual servers uh, and as you see here i've got plenty of ports open for uh, my uh, computer which has this specific lo local ip and uh, yeah on a, my router is a bit weird or not weird but it's like a bit shit since I think the maximum uh, entries I can get into this is like 20 or something so I can't really have too many entries at all because my router's memory isn't all that great I guess uh, so uh, but yeah that also depends on routers I guess uh, 
but yeah also this uh, si uh, page will look different on yours probably maybe yours is even better uh, like some routers I know you get to choose a name for the port like you can name it a g the name of a game or something really way better because I have no freaking idea what these ports are for I'll just open them when I needed to but now at the moment no idea uh, what programs they are uh, associated with but anyway I'll just show you quickly how to open a port and for this example I'll be using something really simple uh, the Minecraft server port uh, the standard one of course you can change it but yeah you will you can open whatever port you want uh, but I you, you sure know what you want to open yourself but if you have no idea if you like for example want to port forward for CSGO or something and you don't know the ports then you can go to this site uh, port forward.com and uh, basically here you can learn all about port forwarding there's so many guides and stuff here but over here you can see list of more games and here is a whole bunch of games you can uh, learn to port forward and there's all even more here uh, so it will tell you all the ports and whether what protocols they use and stuff but uh, for now I'll just use Minecraft as an example and we'll press add new and my uh, upper box here will say service port that's basically the port either the range of ports or uh, just a specific port and this also depends on your router it may have two boxes like one for uh, starting port one for the last port and that means it opens all the port between those two ports uh, but mine basically just uses one box and I have to use a dash uh, between the ports like if I were to open between 80 and 90 it would look like that or something but for this example I'll just be using a single port opened and it is 25565 I know that for sure because I've opened it plenty of times when I hosted Minecraft servers in the past don't play Minecraft anymore though but it's just a great example to show you guys uh, and in the IP address you'll be typing your own uh, custom uh, IPv4 address uh, basically your LAN IP the static IP we did set up in the last video at protocol uh, if you know it is TCP or UDP it's basically two kinds of ports uh, probably you'll know if you checked on the internet what port is supposed to be open in my case I have always just left it at all uh, when I don't know because that's just just in case basically because it opens both of them and if you don't really know just open both of them I guess because really no harm for me at least uh, but yeah I'll just leave it at all for Minecraft maybe it's supposed to be at all at on Minecraft as well uh, status enabled of course otherwise it won't be opened and uh, this I always leave uh, as it is uh, this is just for some advanced stuff I think or actually I yeah it's uh, I think it's kind of like presets uh, not all routers might have this but uh, like for example HTTP uh, their preferred port or the port they're using is 80 so I guess uh, selecting this would change all the settings to whatever you would like them to be but as I already filled in mine uh, it is a okay I just press save and it will take some time to refresh the page because blah 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 but anyway as you'll see here, no, it's actually in the end. Uh, where is next? Um, over here, two five five six five and my local IP all enabled. So we be would should be good to go, right? Uh, so I'll use this site to prove to you that it is working indeed. So portchecker.co uh, just found the site uh, and it is actually working. Uh, however, you might not expect the result now. So uh, this I'll have to fucking censor this. I, realize but it says my IP here in the box you can change it whatever um, but yeah type in your port press check and as you'll see it will say closed and why does it say closed when we just opened it that doesn't make any sense right actually it does because uh, the port will stay closed until a program decides to use it or you launch the program that actually uses the port so that's just great otherwise it would be like unnecessary having ports open when no, no one is using them uh, so I'll just open this is like I know it's fucking old Minecraft server but whatever I just found it on my computer I'll just launch it to prove to you uh, and it's also a bit glitchy but as you see it is up and running right now 
and if you don't believe that it is using the 25565 port I'll prove it to you by showing you the uh, the server properties as you see here server port equals 25565 so that is ok and as you see it is running now and we'll press check again and now it says port 25565 is open so it means that it is uh, open and it is working and if for example you're hosting a minecraft server or whatever server you're really hosting uh, this means that uh, your friends will be able to join your server now since the port is open uh, and basically anyone will be able to join your server uh, if you do send them your IP address uh, I, I know in Minecraft you just press add new on servers and you have to type in a, a, an IP uh, and you can easily check your, your public IP on whatsmyip.org or something and you'll send your friends that IP they'll type that in and they'll be able to join however uh, if you're not using uh, the standard IP for Minecraft servers I mean if you have changed the 25565 port in the server properties to something else uh, like 25566 or something I don't know why you would do that but if you have then of course you would have opened 25566 and you'll see that 25566 is now open uh, but then Minecraft does not realize at least I don't think it does that it has to check uh, for the server on that port because it's uh, by default checks 25565 and I'm not sure if it does check any other ports like the Minecraft program itself so your friends might not be able to join just using your public IP then then you might have to send them the, your public IP and then add in the end uh, like this I'll just type it for you uh, colon 255566 like it would be your public IP and then straight after colon 25566 so you get it like yeah that's how it is done but anyway thank you guys for watching this video if you have any trouble at all uh, doing this or yeah if you have any trouble at all please tell me below if you did like this video and it helped you out please leave a like below it would really mean a lot also subscribe for more tutorials like this and further future awesomeness and by the way i'll just want to add in the end of this video as well that if this does not work for you for some reason you might not have opened all the ports for a specific program if it does say closed and you have the program open and you have opened the ports maybe you forgot some port or maybe you had the file uh, wrong uh, protocol or something or maybe it is stuck in your windows firewall and then you will have to open it uh, in your windows firewall as well and if you don't know how to do that and want to know how to do that i could do a tutorial on that one as well however i'm sure there's not too much problem doing that really uh, you'll find a plenty of tutorials by googling but yeah that's that and that's the video like like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out